and welcome back this is Koya. Don't forget to show love to the channel by liking the video and turning on those notifications. Today's topics are about City Girls, Doja Cat and more. Now let's get into it. First off, congratulations to my girl Jasmine Sullivan for earning her spot on the Times 100 Most Influential People of 2022. It ended up being was a safe space for black women to tell their stories, for us to learn from each other, laugh with each other, and not be exploited at the same time. And um, that's what I'm most grateful for. So shout out to all black women who are just living their lives. Look, we gotta get into the city girls because I think this interview with Complex deserves some more attention. So let me roll this clip. There was a list of the top 50 female rappers and you guys were not on it. I feel like it was disrespectful. It wasn't disrespectful because of that list, because that list was some shit that a bitch made at their house. I feel like a lot of times people tend to forget and try to discredit, discredit us and say we make bad music. And I feel like everything we put out is fun and it's bop. It's not conscious rap, but I could definitely do a conscious rap. But I feel like our music is, you know, for freedom and fun and mm -hmm. partying and, and to make women feel good and to pop they shit. So a lot of people call, don't say that it's real rap, but music is to express yourself. So you cannot never say what's real, real and what's fake. I agree with JT because the city girls do deserve more credit because people like to downplay them. And I know they aren't everyone's cup of tea. I get it. But listen though, I have a question. Would you guys be open to the city girls giving more conscious rap since people say their music is trash? And I don't see this working out because people still won't take them seriously. Like JT has good flow and bars. However, we identify them with ratchet fun. For instance, their old and new songs are constantly being played in the clubs, pole dance classes, lounges, and parties. So I wouldn't move away from my already established loyal and main audience. Therefore, I think people should leave them alone because the city girls should be free to create their style of fun music, just like these mumble rappers and Kodak Black, who we can't even understand what he's saying most of the time. And another thing, their catchphrases, mannerisms have influenced us in some type of way. Sometimes I catch myself imitating Young Miami's voice because she's funny. Or sometimes I might say period because literally everyone and their mama permanently uses that word now. And real quick, let me play this other clip. When JT was away, a lot of that burden fell on you. Mm -hmm. Crazy, crazy time, I imagine. Like I said, one thing about me when we get out there, I just got out there. I just had to keep it afloat. I just felt like I had to do what I needed. Let's keep it real for a moment. Young Miami was holding it down while JT was in jail because she was trying her hardest to keep them afloat. And we could tell that she was over it at times because people started dragging Miami over her performances. And don't forget, the music video for Act Up was filmed without JT, but the song was a hit in the clubs. So fast forward, JT has been carrying the group and took over swiftly so Miami can bounce them cheeks all over Diddy. So check this out, Doja Cat will be dropping the music video for Vegas at any moment. I mean, it could be right now, but here's a little snippet. And you know, I can't wait for it, but the music video already looks spicy. I love that Doja decided to wear straight back cornrows, especially big hoops, to represent Black American culture. And you know Doja knows how to give us a cute dance and deliver the rhythm. One thing about Doja, she is going to command your attention no matter what. So this song is a bop in my opinion because it immediately grabbed my attention. But let me not forget about that dress because it is sitting real nice on her. Those colors complement the aesthetics in the background as well as the scenery. And another thing, Vegas does beat the accusations that she isn't a rapper. This proves very much that she is one. But I get it though, y'all need to see some more rap based songs from her so stay tuned. But hold on, don't go anywhere because the news doesn't stop there. Doja Cat was photographed and interviewed by Elle Magazine. You know I gotta break down some of the interesting parts that I took away. This section shocked me and I got a little sad. It reads, 
I want to finish this tour up, kill it, and see my fans happy. Pause, there is no more tour due to her tonsil surgery. Now let's continue. And then I want to start writing again. I'm going to finish this next album, then I'm going to get the F out for a second. I want to disappear for a little bit just to do things like wear slides and go to the farmer's market. I don't give a ish about vegetables, but how fun. And I want a dog too. It's effed up that I don't have a dog is not fair. I want to take care of a dog. I want to raise it and run around in the grass and touch it. Seriously, marinate on her words for a moment. This is why homegirl was smoking so much. Now here is a part about the queen of rap. Doja talked about her appreciation for Nicki Minaj as a businesswoman and admiring Nicki's fierceness. The way Nicki can carry herself felt almost alien to me because I was kind of a little runty kid trapped in her room just watching YouTube videos. Also, she mentioned about wanting to build a business empire kind of like Nicki, but Doja doesn't have enough time. She states, it's just not realistic, it's not fun, to be honest, when you have to rush through things. So that is something I definitely want to do, but I want to do it only if so I would take a break from music. All right, we have reached the end of the video. Tell me your thoughts down below about these topics. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.